Now, author Rosemary Jenkinson has just released a brand new collection of short stories. We'll find out all about it in just a second because uh, Rosemary joins us now on the line. Now, Rosemary, you're self-isolating at home like uh, the rest of us at the moment. And I suppose for any writer, this is kind of a good time to start writing again, isn't it? Well, yeah, though I usually have no motivational problems, but uh, I, I, I totally agree. A lot of people who haven't written very much will use this as a huge opportunity because it is an opportunity to to be on your own and uh, get writing. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm writing loads every day, of course, because there's not a lot else to do except Netflix and things. Okay, tell us about uh, your latest book. It's out now, and um, this is a collection of short stories, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Um, Yeah, this is my uh, fourth collection of short stories. Um, This one's called uh, Lifestyle Choice 10 Milligrams, and it's 12 different stories, and, well, they're kind of very diverse all over Belfast. I was thinking, yeah, there's the Lisburn Road, there's East Belfast, there's uh, the Shankill and the Falls, you know, so I'm all over the place really with it, which is... Uh, yeah, was a lot of fun to write. So tell us about these stories. Uh, who do we meet? Uh, what's the kind of background to it? Yeah, well, some of them are cunningly disguised, myself cunningly disguised as other people, but uh, but there's also, yeah, other ones where, I think I do some stories where people are haunted by the troubles in them, uh, but a lot of them are about relationships and uh, jobs that, that maybe we don't like uh, and of course yeah a lot of people have left, left their jobs right now so, so uh, maybe we appreciated when when we did have jobs but uh, there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of diversity in it and there's a school reunion a story about a school reunion and one about uh, a professional escort so really it's going through all sorts of different sex of society and certainly I wrote uh, there's one inspired by my mother dying and so it was about that so that's very personal so um, yeah and people going on holidays that's another inspiration so yeah just a lot of everyday things but everyday things made kind of more uh, rich and, and and a bit quirky and unusual let's say Now, you mentioned uh, the whole school reunion thing there. Um, Over the years, people have asked me to do it, but I'm not so sure I actually want to meet the people that um, I went to school with. I I know how you feel, Robin. I was saying it's the most... The the story's really about how excruciatingly embarrassing it is. (laughs) You know, these people, and you don't recognize... It's so embarrassing, and it's like, oh, no, and and you don't remember even them being at school, which is even worse. So, yeah, it it is kind of that. um, Because I think we all have a real inflated idea of our own (laughs) self-importance at school, and how, how great we were, and then when you see people looking at you completely blankly, it's a kind of reality check. And also, I think I think you you compare yourself to, to the others all the time, and in family job, what are they doing? So it's a bit of one on upmanship and things like that. So I mean, it, it is great. It's great as well because there's a kind of unity of people that you know from that length. Twenty five years later, just amazing, really. So what else is in the book then? Uh, there's a story about a party, isn't there? There's a great one about a party in Dundrum. In the, in the wild days, in the wild days of partying, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun about somebody who has a job interview and is trying to escape this party, as you do, um, <laughs> but can't escape because the hosts are a bit like Mrs. Doyle on acid. <laughs> so, so yeah, you can imagine the scenario, but uh, yeah, and uh, so that, that was a lot of fun to write, and based on truth, of course. And of course, that ties in with uh, the news story the other day that uh, Dundrum is one of the best places to live in Northern Ireland, along with uh, Hillsborough and uh, Ballycastle. Well, there you go. See, see, I'm ahead of the game already with this book. Um, yeah, well, it is. It's so beautiful. So it is an ideal. And it's very remote, so you can have your parties and not disturb people. But yeah, I, I used to live in Dundrum, actually. My parents moved from Belfast to Dundrum when I was 11, and I lived there for about...
I'll t- do a twist on it. And then when, once I got to university, I realized, oh dear, Chaucer is the most interesting 